Lane using their prior is able to secure a Scuttle Crab as well. And overall, just come out on top in this early game. Yankos now on the road. Welcome caught a little bit. We'll get locked up for a second here. Course still has the thick skin. Hooked back. Still has the flash as well. Uses the exhaust. Vulcan uses the thick skin as the chase continues. Heal coming out as well. But Vulcan jumps away. Yankos chases him down. And now Danny's in a bit of a hard spot. Inspired coming in to react. He's going to get rooted. Flashes forward for the stun. Yankos falls. Danny with a red buff now can chase. Inspired can jump the wall as well. With that Diana stolen away. The chase continues. Targumus flashes. Impact dying in the top lane. Broken blade in the sanguine pool. Impact can't react. Meanwhile in the bot lane. Blackhead will die. Two for two across the map. Okay, this early game already getting this early game already getting very explosive, but the response from Inspired was good, mainly because you're getting so much gold on Titani. A bit of trading now in the mid lane. Jabs does have ignite here. Jojo already burnt the TP. Vulcan here in time to save his mid laner. Sun card comes out. A bit of voyage. Cap flashes forward with the ignite. Ticking Caps takes it. The tower will not shoot. The tongue will not lash. But here it is Inspired just in time. Cap still trying to dodge away. Oh, no. He gets to the other side. Vulcan flash, tongue lash, give him a licking in the bushes, Inspired continues to chase. Cavs trying to get away, has the Razor Beaks to dash to, and should be able to escape a tongue lash. Abyssal Boy is going forward, Cavs double dash, and manages to survive. Oh my god! But he recognizes that I may as well try for a kill, rather than uh, get absolutely nothing for it. Inspired looks to Caps here in the mid lane. Yankos on the way. Destiny, they're going to try and isolate Yankos, but the rest of G2 are on the chase. Caps low, dives forward with the last breath, manages to get away from the heartbreak, but still has his heart stopped by Jojo. Two kills over to EG as they continue to look for the chase. Yankos down. Great stuff by EG once again, first to react. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Broken Blade trying to take down Impact. Hemo plays away. Uh, so Sangre pulls away, the Hemo plate ticking, Impact heals up with the level up, and Broken Blade won't take any more of that fight. Oh my god, look at this bot lane yeah, once the, again. the Dragon's more important than the Rift Held right now. I feel like that... Oh no, they can actually make this work. Abyssal Voyage in, Yankos does have Flash, will use it to get across the wall. G2 now trying to react. Flackhead, only about half health. Danny and Vulcan coming in. There's Targmas, flash forward for the route. Danny locked up with a death charge. Caps will lock him down. Caps takes one. Vulcan now trying to get away as well, but Yankos is waiting from behind enemy lines to take out the EG bot lane. A kill over to Yankos, two kills to G2. Meanwhile, Jojo getting some tower plates. Come back and collapse, and it did still give EG the drink. Jojo has destiny. He's going to try and get behind Flackhead and Targmas here. The hook comes out. Targmas cleanses, but he's just down. Jojo with his second kill of the game. Inspired steals away the center. We've seen a Viego do that before. And now this bot lane tower play, in fact, will be forfeit. It's going to be about 5,000 gold sitting on Danny. Broken Blade trying to chase Impact. Hammer of Mist coming out. Dawning Shadow used as well. Only the shield. Broken Blade pops the Sanguine Pool. Impact dodges into the bush. Broken Blade can heal up. If Vulcan fighting in the mid lane, Jojo there caught with a Diana Yasuo combo. Inspired has to flash away, Sid Mech Deathrock against blocked by the wind wall. Caps will chase Inspired down, the Ignite is ticking, the Q will not connect, but Caps finds that final Steel Tempest and takes the kill. Wow, so much action happening on the map once again. Just coming in here to clear out the mid lane. What is next on the agenda? Currently, it looks like Targamus' life might be there, but the stopwatch coming out and dodges away from the Abyssal Voyage, Dawning Shadow for the shield as well. Vulcan pops a thick skin, devours up one. Destiny coming in. Here comes Jojo, and it's enough to force Flacker to retreat. Yankos was here, but not in time as EG get another kill. Really good spawns from Jojo there. I loved his ultimate. It may have seemed a little good spot now. He's going to invest that TP. G2 have control down towards the bottom side. EG have control off towards the top. No vision for either team really behind and spotting out their enemies. Destiny coming out, Impact Ooh. in there. Flacker gets it, but Impact's just way too deep. Targmas now stepping forward as well. G2 have already taken one, and taking the Dragon, and Inspire pops the stopwatch, but in the middle of four members of G2, he will be popped himself. G2 find the fight, and EG have to call the alarm to seen this one before. Let's see if Danny can pull off a Penta once again. Jojo trying to get behind them. The Baron down to 2,000. Danny trying to step forward. Vulcan doing the same. Baron secured. Jojo flashed in, but not much he can do after the Baron's already fallen. In the midst of five members of G2, he will fall alongside it. G2 get the Baron, get the kill, and get out. I, I understand why Jojo did that. You can see he swapped to the smite. He tried to go for a steal, but it didn't quite come out. Oh, last breath. They still have their ultimates. G2 find two more off the back of the play. Perhaps his ult actually came off cooldown. Yankos never used it in the initial exchange, which meant that G2 could continue. may look for a play on two solitary members of G2 here with Vulcan coming in with the Abyssal Voyage. Destiny used as well, could cleanse from Flacker, but he's slowed up with the Zap, has to flash. Yankos trying to react down towards the bottom side as Caps comes in as well. Impact though with the needle work forces Targumus low. Targumus will fall first. Caps trying to trade with Inspire, but Danny across the wall is putting the damage down. Caps flashes away. EG find one, and now then closing in, pincing in G2. Inspired there. 
in the midst of the darkness waiting, but G2 just try and run okay, down the towards tower. the bottom side. Take the tower on the way. Broken Blade stunned with the gold card locked up underneath the tower. Sanguine Pool coming out. Inspired with a long flank. Dawning Shadow will kick out alive. GA popped. Broken Blade kills off Jojo and EG are now the ones a little bit split. Inspired comes back from the GA, but what? Vulcan's overstepped, overstayed. EG, you're not grouped up. You're fighting G2 on two fronts, and G2 are just stronger right now. Danny forced to flash away, puts down the flame trumpets, but the wind wall will stop him. Ignite is taking impact, kills off Broken Blade, counts, tanks the tower shot. G2 somehow get out of the to fight. safety if so desired. And G2 would just melt through this. Um, with Yasuo, Diana, their, their back there is so fast. The Inspired is hovering around. No heartbreaker, but he does have the flash. 5,000 on it. Inspired has the GA as well. Targumus hooks him. They're looking to kill off the jungler first. GA is going to bring him back. EG now looking for a bite. Yankos is low, trying to heal up, but the shutdown comes in. As Impact found a good flank position. Inspired able to dash away. Caps chasing Impact down. One for one so far. Jungler for top laner. EG, though, maybe just decide to back away. They don't think G2 will go for the Baron, knowing they don't have a jungler, and Inspired could steal. Have been spotted out by the ultimate. Caps now on his way. EG know they have the numbers advantage. They're trying to get this fight, but look at how big Broken Blade is. Roots up. Stun lock. Dawning Shadow coming out. EG looking for the fight. Black puts a shield down. Yankos down. Broken Blade trying to get into the back line. The Hema plate going off. Jojo Open's going to be low, but the Super Death Hockey connects. And this is great for EG. The chase is on. How many ever stacks you get, Black? And you still can't shut down Danny in a team fight. EG win the fight around the Baron. I've seen this one before. And finally, EG get the front to back fight that they were looking for. Really good choice to force the Baron to get G2 away from that soul and to kind of get G2 to funnel in a line. Targumus gonna face check. Face checks. A couple of auto attacks from Danny is enough to chunk him down. Ward goes in, Yankos oh. with engage, cancers them as well. They're just trying to kill Danny. Vulcan with a great devour, just in time. But here come the rest of G2. Danny not able to get away. And that's the Wombo-ist of combos you'll see today. Flash, Moonfall, Danny dies. Wow, that was the Wombo combo that G2 was looking for. And Danny didn't get a chance to react. Flash R from Yankos wipes EG off the map and they will secure the game. The win streak for GT will, G2 will continue. 17 wins in games in a row here for G2. Everyone in EG can just sit and watch as their base is torn to shreds. G2, five players strong, push forward. And you may live evil, but G2 are bad to the bone as they take down EG. What a great game to start off the day.